So this is the city of Cabaret in Haiti, and it was hit hard. These people here are literally bathing at the riverbanks, the same river that overflowed and took the most children in any one single town in Haiti. These people have literally been devastated by the floodwaters, and this is the type of situation that they are facing. Look up here. These used to be houses. They were literally eaten away by the river just days ago. All the people who are here used to live in these houses, and they're devastated. And you can see signs of malnutrition on these children. You can see their little distended bellies and their belly buttons that are poking out. The people here on the ground tell us that's because the kids are not getting sufficient nutrition. And how can you when everything you have has been devastated? This is the situation in Haiti, and all throughout the week, 7 News is going to be bringing you all of the pictures that we've been gathering over just three days. To Lagonave, where we found hope, a little island that saved itself because they built watershed walls and their town was spared. <laughs> to the other side of the spectrum, where literally hundreds of people lined up to get shoes from the city of Miami delegation that came. Very overwhelming, but much needed. You can see how these people are so desperate to even get shoes right now. They're fighting over one another. So, uh, just to get something on their people. Walking around in glass and dirt, rocks, even over people, dead people. So we're trying to help them out as much as possible. And then, of course, the scene here in Cabo Ray, which is going to be really the tip of the iceberg for what we have come here to show you people helping people and a bridge built from South Florida here to Haiti.